Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series which is aimed at sharing best practices for configuring the Proofpoint protection servers, features and functionalities. This video tutorial is based on PPS version 8.6 and demonstrates how to monitor, report and improve spam filtering within the Proofpoint protection server or PPS. The end user digest allows you to monitor all of your quarantined messages and identify false positives. This includes messages quarantined based on anti-spam, antivirus, and content policies. Enabling the End User Digest is a two-step process. First, enable the digest and then configure the command processor or web application. If you do not configure the command processor, users will receive digests but they will not be able to complete any operations on their messages. To begin, navigate to the System tab, End User Services module, and Digest Settings page. Select the On Radio button and then click Save Changes. This is the master switch for enabling or disabling the Digest feature. To schedule the digest, navigate to the System tab, End User Services module, and Digest Schedule page. You can schedule update digests for specific sub-organizations, domain groups, or groups at different times, allowing you to control the load on the Proofpoint Protection Server. Click the On Radio button for the Scheduled Update Digest parameter. The update digests contain a list of new messages that have been added to the quarantine for the recipient since the last update. Next, choose a time from the time drop down list. Select a sub organization, domain group, or group, and then click the right arrow button to move it to the digest generation times list. You can schedule more than one sub organization, domain group, or group for an update digest at the same time. Next, Select a day from the Days drop-down list. If you select Custom, you can choose which days of the week you want to generate the update digest. Finally, click the Save Changes button. To introduce your employees to the End User Digest, send the built-in welcome message located within the End User Services module. A false positive spam message is a legitimate email that the system incorrectly identified as spam and then quarantined. You can monitor and report these quarantined messages in two ways. You can enable the End User Digest for all users, which will allow all users to click on the Not Spam link in the digest to report any false positive message, or you can enable End User Reporting. If end users do not have the Not Spam link, you can enable this by navigating to the End User Services module and Commands page. Select the On Radio button for the user command titled Enable Auto False Positive Reporting and then select the Save Changes button at the top of the screen. You will also need to regularly monitor your quarantine folders and look for legitimate email messages. Navigate to the Quarantine module within the System tab and select the Messages page. You can search for messages by subject, sender, and recipient as well as other criteria. Once a legitimate email is found, click the checkbox next to the message or messages. Next. Mouse over the Options drop-down and then click on Report. Within the Parameters window, select the actual reason, message type, as well as any comments. Click on the Report button when finished. A false negative is a spam message that the system incorrectly identified as legitimate and delivered normally. Users can report false negative spam by enabling auditing on all spam policies and by adding users to the spam reporting group. To enable auditing, first navigate to Email Protection, Spam Detection, Policies drop-down, and Policies page. Select the default policy to see a list of rules. Scroll down the page and select the Edit button for the rule titled Not Spam. 
Under the Disposition section, select the checkbox titled Include in Audit Folder in the Quarantine. Next, click the Save Changes button. To add users to the spam reporting group, navigate to the System tab, User Management Module, and Users page. Begin by selecting the users you want to add to the group. Next, mouse over the Options drop-down and select Edit Group Membership. Select the Spam Reporting Organization and then click the right arrow button to move Spam Reporting to the Member Of window. Next, click the Save Changes button. We recommend adding users who receive a lot of spam and or are receiving a lot of false positives. You may also want to add users from the IT group or other groups who are interested in spam detection. Proofpoint does not recommend enabling auditing for all users. Auditing all legitimate email for all users will quickly fill up your disk space with legitimate messages. Thank you for watching our brief how to video tutorial on how to monitor, report, and improve spam filtering within the Proofpoint Protection Server or PPS. For additional information on our products, Visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash proofpointcommunities.force.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.